and it really off offered an opportunity for a new generation of folk that had some um, initiative, they had some ideas, they had a lot of drive and ambition to go about and harness this technology, which in those days was steam, and then go about uh, creating machines and then building industrialization, um, which led to the subsequent kind of three industrial revolutions that we've had since then. But that was the opportunity for the new wealth to come along. The new rich uh, was kind of spurred off the back end of that, late 1700s, early 1800s. And then of course there was the birth of the new worlds, which was um, the Americas, particularly North America. Um, so before that, it was really the domain of um, the, the royalty or those associated with royalty. Uh, and then there was some um, people that inherited it, it over time or maybe served that, um, that royalty or that monarchy. But over the last kind of couple of hundred years, it's become something which is available to more and more people, but it's become so pronounced. Just like everything in the world, the rate and the pace of change is increasing quite markedly. And so where we're living right now, the last 20 years, has just been an absolute explosion of wealth. You know, we can drop crypto right in the middle of that, just for an example. You know, there's been an, an immense amount of wealth creation through crypto and, and associated assets such as NFTs. By the way, I delineate those um, as well. It's another comparison that I make. Rich is NFTs, wealth is fine art. <laughs> and then I go, board no. eight, I'm sad. Oh man, so the NFTs are just, um, yeah, the, the, the OG NFTs are just disgusting, in my opinion. Okay, I'm not going to offend anybody today, so I'll just stay quiet on that topic. Um, I, do, I, I believe in the class um, yeah. that's been produced, you know, the AI producing the board apes. You know, no, nobody can say that that's fine art. Nobody can. There's just no, no argument for that being an incredible piece of something you'd want to hang on your wall. I understand yeah. the asset class. Um, I don't yeah. get why the hype has gone around them because it's not really meeting the original objective of why the people back those things. But yeah, anyway. Yeah. Let's go back a, a little bit around like you're mentioning these different ages, right? So we have the first industrial age and it was when we harnessed the power of steam, right? So there was like this technology existed, it already existed, or I guess the wealth potential already existed. And it just took time, I guess, for people to discover what was already there. And one of the questions that I kind of play around with in my head is just this idea of can wealth actually be created? Or is wealth actually just waiting to be mined? Mm -hmm. Do you have any kind of perspective on that? Mm, yeah, that's a great question. Um, so I think historically for people, they would fall into the category of going wealth is created. Um, and so I think that I, I can sit in both camps. I'll use the word ambivalent here, Darcy, 